In this video, we'll go over the model browser. The model browser allows you to view runtime information without having to create a mimic for every piece of data that you wish to display. Let's get started. For this video, I'll use the demo model we have running on our website. You can see this running in our web gateway at statusenterprise.b-scada.com. I'm using a local version of this demo, so I'll click connect and wait for it to log in. Now that we've logged in, let's take a quick tour of the interface we have. At the top, we've got some buttons we can use to change how assets are displayed in the view. We've got a button we can click to hide the top bar for more viewing space. And we have a help button that you can click to get the PDF file for the model browser user guide. This big open area is where we'll view our assets. All data, whether it's a mimic, trend, or alarm, is shown in a panel. Panels can be arranged as floating, in a tab control, or in a table format. You can use the buttons at the top of the model browser to pick your desired layout. To the left, we have our assets tree. This is a list of assets available in your model. You can drill down through these and look at all of the data available to you. Below that, you've got your various panels for controlling how you can look at your data. In the Mimics tab, you can select a mimic to view the asset you've chosen from your asset tree. As you browse your assets, different mimics will become enabled and disabled on the Mimics tab. Mimic templates that match the selected asset in the Assets tree will become enabled, while assets that do not match the document type will become disabled. Regular mimics, which are mimics that are not created for any specific type, can always be opened. Mimics can be opened by double-clicking the mimic in the document tree. To demonstrate this, I'll find a mimic that matches the asset I have selected. You can also open a collection of assets as well. For example, I have three turbine assets listed under this wind turbine collection. If I select that, then double click on the wind turbine overview template, I can open all three of these at once and compare them. Next, I'll change my view so I can look at them side by side. On the Trends tab, when you select an asset from the Assets tree, a trend will become available for each numeric property on the asset you've selected. You can then double-click on one of these options to open a trend. This trend will then log any new value changes on the property for you. To demonstrate this, I'll select the TB001 asset, then find the High Speed Shaft property. Next, I'll click on the RPM option in our Trends tab and wait for this to load. Once it opens, we'll see a trend displaying any value changes that we'll get on this property. In the Property Tables tab, you can view all of the properties on a selected asset. When you open this, you'll be presented with a list of all of the properties and their current values. The values will then update in the list when they change, and to make it easier to spot value changes, there's an option that will temporarily change the background of the value that changed. To demonstrate this, I'll check the color background on change checkmark and then wait for the value to change. The next tab we'll look at is the Alarms tab. Here you can view all of your alarm notifications for the asset you have selected. I'll open this now and see if we have any alarms available for this asset. You'll see that we have a couple of alarms listed here. Each alarm will have some fields with information about the alarm that lets you know what happened and where it came from. And the last tab we'll look at is the History tab. The History tab lets you view the history of property changes for any property on the asset that's had its value changed previously. To demonstrate this, I'll click on the High Speed Shaft option from my TB1001 asset, then I'll select RPM from my History list. Now, I can look through the log of property changes that have happened in the past. In closing, Status Enterprise is a powerful, Easy to use tool that lets you design once and deploy multiple times. For more information about Status Enterprise and the Data Model Browser, 
please visit us on the web at www.skata.com.